Project sharing was developed to help Vectorworks users manage larger projects involving multiple users, fostering effective collaboration and communication within a project team. Project sharing is a single file structure, providing a mechanism that allows multiple users to work within and access parts of a file simultaneously. Product sharing involves two types of files. The main project file, of which there is one per project, and working files that are, in essence, duplicates of the project file. All design and editing is completed within a working file and then synchronized or committed to the project file. The project file would typically reside on a server that all users would have full access to. The flow of information is managed by several levels of permissions, letting users create, edit, or delete various parts of the project. We'll cover these in detail later. More specifically, all geometry and data available to the user of a working file is based on design layers and sheet layers. Users may check out a layer or layers in order to accomplish their portion of the project, yet at all times, the entire project is available for them to view. There's a new project sharing command accessible from the file menu that'll let users create a project file. Just below that are four more new options, save and commit, close and release, Refresh, and Revert. We'll take a moment to define these new terms. Performing a save and commit action means that changes you've made in the working file will be sent to the project. Any users that check out layers, pull a working file from the project, or refresh their working files after you've committed your changes will see your new changes directly. Save and commit not only commits your changes, but also saves your working file locally as well. It's possible to only save changes in your working file, but not commit them to the project. It's up to you which you would like to do and when. Close and Release will return all checked out layers back to the project file and allow other users to then check them out. Then, subsequently close the working file. This should be done whenever you've completed work on the checked out layers. Refresh will update your working file with any changes made by other users that were committed to the project since you last either checked out layers or last performed a refresh. This gives you control of when your working file updates with new information from the project file. You can also use the refresh button on the top left of the view bar to bring updates from the project file with a single click. The effect is the same. Reverting a working file will discard all changes made to the working file and not commit them to the project. It will then refresh your working file with all new information from the project file as it's currently shown. Moving on to another important aspect of working on a large project, tracking changes and design additions as they are added to and subtracted from the project. Fortunately, we've addressed this with a history function. In the project sharing dialog, under the history tab, you will be shown changes made to various entities such as layers, classes, and resources. Additionally, you'll be able to sort on any column header. For example, all changes to a given layer, or all changes made by a particular user. In addition, you'll also be able to search the history by keywords using the search control option in the lower right. The entire history of the project file can be exported to a comma-separated file by clicking the Export button. This export will generate a CSV file that can then be imported into any data processing application. And finally, a user with administrative privileges will be able to clear all the project history by clicking the Clear All History button. Creating and sharing a Vectorworks document as a project file is not a reversible operation. A project file itself cannot be converted back to a regular Vectorworks file. However, if you'd like to create a regular Vectorworks file from your project file, you can open a working file and then save a copy as a regular Vectorworks file using the standard Save a Copy As command. That covers the basics of project sharing within Vectorworks. In the coming videos, we'll discuss the specifics of managing users, permissions, setting up a document to best take advantage of project sharing, as well as commonly asked questions and answers.